Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through redundancy. So redundancy is a method of storing the same information, same information in more than one database or within one database. So if you observe in this table, so here we are having the branch name and HOD name, branch name and HOD name are repeated, right? So this is an issue with redundancy. So even redundancy will be causing three anomalies or three issues guys. Insertion anomaly, updation anomaly and deletion anomaly, right? Insertion, deletion, updation, right? Perfect. So the redundancy data leads to many problems as the as this is only one table with the information of student. So we will be considering this table is the ultimate table for the student guys. So in that way, we will be facing three issues. That is nothing but insertion anomaly. So whenever certain data attribute connect, cannot be inserted into the database within without the permission of other data. So let us assume we our college is going to add just give me a second. Okay, our, our college is going to add one more department IT. So basically we are not having the department name IT. So the issue will be that we cannot insert it because of the insertion LMLA. So if your college is adding a new branch here, we need need all the details to be added so if you are adding new branch will you get a student along with the branch guys no we need to have the value of the branch separately and then we can we should insert the values so that type of process is not possible because of this redundancy and we are having a single table values right okay and the second type will be deletion anomaly so whenever there is a branch so let us assume you establish the it branch and there is only a single guy so now this guy has shifted the college and even your college is having the IT department but it is closed for now so if you delete the record of this student automatically the IT the IT records the IT HOD the IT details will all be removed so this is nothing but deletion anomaly if we delete some records some unwanted records if it causes deletion of some other data which is wanted your college only one guy is in IT branch you shifted him to CSE once you deleted his data automatically the IT will also be gone which which will be an issue so I hope everyone got a small idea so now let us go through updation and MLA. so when we want to update a single piece of data but it must be done in all copies so if you want to update the name of the HOD of CSE department to ABC so you need to do it individually in each and every record guys so that will be the issue with updation and MLA. so I think this is the last topic of the chapters 1, 2, 3 of database management system guys. So we have covered all the three chapters. I think almost around 90 to 80 to 90 topics. We have almost covered 80 to 90 percent of the topics we have covered completely. So in the next tutorial we will be starting the fourth unit of this chapter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.